This video is going to be slightly different and may possibly the start to a new style or new series of videos on this channel because Chloe and I are on our way to pick up our new puppy. We will be getting a Bacardi Spaniel and we are only 10 minutes away. We couldn't be more excited. So let's go get it. <laughs> As you guys can see, we have picked up the puppy, and this here is Angus, and he has been a blast to have already. We've only had him for less than 24 hours, so we brought Angus back to the hotel yesterday, and now it's time to fly him back home to Montana. So this should be an interesting process, or. I guess hopefully it's a smooth process. So this is what Angus will be um, riding in. He's a little big. He was one of the bigger pups of the litter. So um, he is currently 16 pounds, a little over 16 pounds. We're flying on American Airlines and their weight limit is 20 pounds. That's puppy and pet carrier included. So Mr. Angus is gonna be cutting it real close. So I guess other than the weather, the next little slight worry I have is that he meets the um, weight requirements. But um, I have a feeling he's going to pull through. Well, we made it past security and his weigh-in. Like I mentioned, you can't be over 20 pounds with his um, crate and the dog himself. Came in at a nice 19.5. Just <laughs> made it. Um, he's whined a little bit, but for the most part, he's pretty calm. So now we just gotta get him on the airplane. We have a three hour flight back to Hollywood. So, wish us luck. and he is doing just fine. So I don't think I mentioned, but we picked him up from the breeders over in Wisconsin. And I just have to say the breeders were phenomenal. Um, ever since we first got in contact with them um, and were put down on a list to receive a pup on their next litter, they were just amazing. Kept us up to date with every little thing and it was, it was lovely, it was so fun to watch the whole process go down through text messages and if you are interested in a Picard Spaniel, cast iron kennels, they're great. So I have nothing but um, good stuff to say about them. So just to give a couple quick reasons why we chose the Picardi was um, a few of the biggest things was they just have such a natural instinct that um, a lot of the hunting process just comes so naturally to them. Like some people who are Picardi owners basically never even really did 
formal training with their dog. They just took them out in the field with birds and hunted with them. And I mean, their their natural instinct is so powerful that it, they kind of just catch on and it comes pretty easy to them. And they're also um, from Picardy in France, which is basically there's just tons of wetlands and marshes out there. So getting a dog that was gonna like the water was a big thing for me. With that being said, I'm also super eager to get more into upland hunting. So, I mean, shoot, now that we have the dog, a lot of our hunting is gonna be bird focused, I would imagine. So I look forward to really just showing you guys the process of having this little guy with us and taking you guys through some of the training stages and just the process of us working with him, taking him to the field and just watching him grow up and advance as a hunter. I mean, basically that's how this channel started out with myself. I mean, I just wanted to document my process as an outdoorsman and be able to look back and watch myself grow. So now that's kind of the same idea with this little guy is I look forward to capturing all his time from a puppy to him being a grown duck retrieving, pheasant pointing, hunting dog. <laughs> so I couldn't be more excited to share the process with everyone who uh, wants to tune in and watch. And I hope you guys all enjoy it.